Hello everyone, I Bhavna Mishra of MSc 3rd Sam is here to discuss about childhood and women lifestyle and their contribution to the growth of India. First we will discuss about village. Villages of India plays an important role from historical period to till now. As we see, India majorly depends on the primary activity and it's not only the geographical distribution of the India but it also a socio-culture frame in which men are the main resource of work rather than a machinery. As we see this feature clearly in the difference between rural and urban areas. In rural areas, the people are mainly depend on the manual work for the daily or day-to-day -day life. But in urban areas, every small thing is done or uh, they do daily works with machines. Even from chutney to their going to office, they use vehicle as a machine. But in village, they use mainly prefer cycles or car wheels, etc. Now we will discuss about women lifestyle in village. Women lifestyle is very important in village as they play a key regent of village or play a key role in villages. They play a dual role as a good as well as a service. They do domestic works, they do in, in works in field, they also do works in household industries in small scales. During farming season, we see that they work in the fields also, in house they work with the cattle also and with children they have to work as a mother also and with family as a united all the works they are not considered as an economic development uh, but also but they are they are important they also don't know about this in similar way we can see one example like in elections women got their seat they are elected but did not even know about their rights all the work is done by their husbands or the sons or any elder from the from their houses we see that their lifestyles are so busy that they not even get the time for themselves to work for them from morning to evening or till night they have to work unstoppable from morning to carry the water from different sources of the villages to, to make food and work in the field, work with cattle and till evening or night they have to do work with non-stop. Now childhood, uh, childhood lifestyles in villages. We see that children of our villages it's totally different from the children from our urban areas. They are deprived of basic needs with the small availability of their availability of sources. They work more efficiently but rather than urban areas. We see that the farming impact on the children is more morely seen or uh, majorly seen in the children uh, in the villages. Farming activities like in during farming season, children have to work with their parents rather than study in the schools they work in the field in the morning morning time so they do not get their time for their study and one more factor which I observe is education education system is too expensive nowadays so that children from farming family does not able to pay their fees and they will not um, get enrolled or they do not prefer to study then they prefer working in the field one more thing is that nowadays natural calamities are more than earlier so uh, children uh, children's family from of uh, rural areas will suffer from that calamities and do not able to pay that feces so they just decline uh, they just deprive of their education one thing which we uh, which I observe is that Children from the village are more active, more practical than the children of urban areas because children of rural areas play, uh, play in their uh, in the grounds. They work, they learn by uh, doing. They learn by doing it, and uh, children in urban areas do not do this. They only get a theoretical knowledge in the classrooms.
Children of village enjoy or celebrate nature in the purest form and they have more cultural and ethical values than an urban area children. Contribution of women and children in the growth of India is clearly seen but not noticed. This is important line as we see that children and uh, women play important role in every moment, every part of the society from working in home to working in the industries and everywhere but they do not pay for that but they do not consider it as an active part of the society. They are considered as a neglected or deprived part of the society and not and even they don't even know about their rights and the government schemes which are provided for them and the opportunities. Here we see some pictures. Women participation in economic development is to be enhanced which we have to do. Women must receive the following services like training in economic generating activities, easy access of to low interest loans and family planning services to limit, it, limit child bearing. So by these activities we can make them more aware and more active part of the society. That's all from my side. Thank you.